Hi, tell us your name. I'm Rubik's QR Connor. How are you doing? Hi, good. How about you? How are you doing, Miss <laughs> Wendy Williams? Yeah. yeah, he's got pretty Would busy. you rather live by the beach or in the mountains? Mountains, definitely. As much as I love the beach and it's very tranquil, it's also like the ocean is its own entity that I am no longer the top of the food chain. So I have like basilophobia is what it's called, where I fear deep water. I cannot do it. I can't do it. At the same time, my partner loves the ocean, so I, if I had to move there for him, I would, but I prefer the mountains. Okay. But I even asked him, I said, how long does it take you to do your makeup? Mm, these days, roughly about an hour, hour and a half. I've gotten better. It used to be like two and a half hours, but like if I have to, I can beat this face in about 30 minutes. I have to. I was on television with that shit, and it still looks pretty good. Even though it was a rush. But yeah. What's your favorite snack? Favorite snack? Um, this vodka can. <laughs> Uh, that's my favorite after work aperitif. Uh, snack wise, uh, that's a tricky one. It's either a toss up between Mike and Ike's or apples. I do really like apples. Who's your favorite Rue Girl? My favorite what? Rue Girl. Rue Girl. Oh god, this is a question. Okay. Um, Bianca Del Rio. Absolutely Bianca Del Rio. It used to be Jinx Monsoon because she's the reason I got into drag. But Bianca unlocked that shady bitch inside of me. <laughs> and ever since then, I haven't looked back. Like, the two of them are kind of my devil and angel on my shoulders. So when Jinx falls asleep, like, the devil takes over. It's like, that girl's in the power. Go read the for <laughs> But Bianca, Bianca Del Rio. What song would you own in a lip sync for your life? What song would I own in a lip sync? Anything Broadway related. Like if it was something off of Broadway, I know I can do it because I'm a theater kid. No, I don't think it would be It does kind of depend on what that song would be, but I would still hold my own. I know for sure. What's your favorite video game series? Video game series. Uh, I would say Final Fantasy. I know that That's mine. I would say that because I love seven. I love eight. I really love ten and twelve. They're like really nice. But lately, that series has kind of fallen apart. So I can't really say that. But he's just trying to be Persona. I'm gonna go with the Persona series. It's a JRPG. It's where I got my name say from. The Arcana comes from Terraforms. That's Persona. Uh, I have a fascination with butterflies and tarot cards in general. Um, I have my own persona that I would draw if I could, which I need to here soon on social media, but we'll see. Anywho, yes, I want, I'm going to go with Persona because I just recently played the number five for the second time, and it's amazing. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Doesn't have to be from that series. Favorite character? You know what? It's a villain. But I'm gonna go with Sephiroth. As I said, Final Fantasy VII, definitely one of my favorites in the series. Uh, he is the best villain, hands down. I've been growing out my damn hair so I can go cosplay as him. So once it reaches my ass or lower, I'm gonna go do that. Sephiroth, have my hair bleached silver again, and then go rock it with the fucking one wing and everything. It's gonna be great. I've beaten him in both King of Hearts. <laughs> nice. Have any of the Final Fantasy games made you cry? Wait, say that again? In the Final Fantasy games, have they ever made you cry? What like Final Fantasy games have made me cry? Um, probably the only one I could say is Seven. And it's because a no, no, main character in, dies so out of nowhere. And I didn't cry the first time, yeah. but I've cried watching the Advent Children movie, which is tied to that, yeah. and it's because of how that comes back around. So, like, the end of that movie, he smiles. Oh, my God. It's like... <laughs> Anywho, yeah. still feel that there's... Can you replicate the animation of a character... At the end of a battle. Yeah. Animation of a character. Well, I am dressed as poison. Oh, God, what is her little thing, though? She's like... <laughs> I don't know. I, that, that was a really... Good <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I haven't played my Street Fighter in a minute. I just got new titties. <laughs> the 
Those titties would work for Lulu's. <laughs> right? I should totally do Lulu. Oh my god, I just braided a shit ton of hair, too. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm using it. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Impersonate a local queen. <laughs> oh, there goes the evil laugh. <laughs> hey guys, it's Mercury Rising. <laughs> I'm, oh, yeah. I'm here today to tell you that Rubik's QR Kana is a shady bitch who told me I should wear a pillowcase, so I did it. <laughs> The best I can do for that one. I'm sorry. She's my stoner gal pal. I love her. Oh, yeah, with my purse. And then she fucking ran down the street in that pillowcase. Right? Right? She ran like a fucking linebacker. That shit was coming. Oh, my God. I don't think I can run like that in heels. The fact I can stay upright in general is just impressive enough. So, it's been several months, right? All right. What's your favorite moment in drag? Favorite moment in drag? Oh. My favorite I would probably have to say performing in Chicago the musical. Because I played Mary Sunshine, which is a drag character. And I got to do, I think, what was it, like 16 performances, dressed up as that. It's the only time ever I've been able to, like, supersede what my costumer gave me. And I basically came in the next day say, hey, yeah, can I wear this instead? Because that shit was ugly. And everyone said, yes. I'm the most important person. So, yes, I'm going to go with performing in Chicago the musical. Um, I would hope to never do it again because that part's way too fucking high for me. It's awful. I'm a baritone. So they keep making me a goddamn tenor, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I, I, I played the song on Friday. <laughs> so when I went to pick some up. Are there any video game characters that remind you of local queens? Which one? Um. I would have to say that, that there's so probably a couple of characters from that Soul so and Alamur that could be local queens for sure. Um, there's definitely one from Guilty Gear. There's a character named Bridget who's literally a boy dressed as a girl that's totally Apple Adams. Um, <laughs> The same thing with, there, there's another one called Skullgirls. Skullgirls is another fighting game. There's a character that is Apple Adams. There's a character that is me. And there is definitely a character in that one that I could see as Mercury Rising. <laughs> the skinny bitch that's like all crazy. Her name's Pain Wheel. <laughs> Who's the funniest local queen? Funniest local queen. Ooh, that's a question. Um, me. <laughs> uh, no, I, li I like to think that I'm decently funny. I get told that I am, but I know that there are people who are funnier. No, in fact, um, Apple's pretty funny. <laughs> Helen Hughes is actually really funny. Lately, whenever I see her on the mic, that bitch got me fucking busted up. I want to piss myself. Um, I'm going to go with Helen. I'm going to say Helen. It's not me, it's Helen. Okay. Who is the zaniest? <laughs> that is me. <laughs> no, as far as zany, I can say that the one compliment I get the most, and I love it so much, is everyone says, what I like about you is I don't know what you're coming out with next. And that much is true. I'm always trying to, like, up my own game. <laughs> So if you see me like so, put on a costume that you've seen once before, it's been at least six months. That's my rule. Uh, but yes, I'm embracing something that you came out as a clicker last week, so I'm gonna go with me. I'm the same. Okay. And how about the kindest? The kindest. Most thoughtful. So it is very obvious. I'd probably go with Apple Adams. Yeah. That bitch has got a heart of gold. Um, if anything, she's my go-to. Like when I got the inner shape coming out and I'm about to rip a bitch in one, I always go Apple. Talk me off my ledge so I'm not such a hateful cunt. I'd appreciate it lovely. Thank you. And she always does. She's very good at that. Um, so yeah, Apple Adams is definitely the kindest. Okay. Right, do you have a sign off that, for me? That's really sign up. Sign off.
Oh, a sign up. Um, I have my usual go to, which is my saying much love and lollipops. Because uh, everyone needs more love in their life and something sweet. Suck it. So there you go. Much love and lollipops. Wow.